So now that you're doing, now that you know the exercise in your head, now I want you to think about hovering the pinky so that the tip of the pinky is over the string. Okay. okay? So get your violin up on your shoulder. Get that chocolate point I talked about with Sophia. Okay? Stand up your fingers and your pinky looks in beautiful position. You might get a great shot of it over here too. Um, yeah, come on around this way. All right, so now try it. Try the same exercise, hovering that pinky, get the tip ready to go down. Go. There you go. A, B, check the tip. You have to check the tip to be sure it's not laying down. Try it again. You're, no, you were right. Okay, try it on A now. Keep, keep an eye on that tip. Mississippi. Try it again. Mississippi, stop, stop. Mississippi, stop, stop. Check your pinky now. When you watch it, it changes the position of your pinky. Try it again. Try it on D now. Now, do you know what you're going to have to do to get it to hover? Any idea? Yeah, you need your elbow. Keep that chocolate point up. It's going to be really important to keep chocolate point when you get further over on the strings. Right? Okay, and on G. Okay, get in rest position. So when you do three, E four, E three, E four, you do that three times. So I'm going to do it three times so you can hear it. It's it's um, three, four, three, four, three. Lots of threes and fours. And then I just play F sharp, which is one on E. It's E1. Open E, D. F3 on A. A3. So I'll do it one more time. It's E1, E, A3. And try it with me. Three. Without this finger down. So you're only exercising the three and the four. One of the reasons, I don't know if I, I don't think I told you this earlier, one of the reasons the pinky is down because of this pinky stone? Well, that could be too. I didn't think about that. I bet that's true. Yeah, because once when I put this pinky up, that one went up. Yeah, <laughs> they do work together. You're right. But the other reason that I was thinking of is that these two fingers are actually connected. There's some tendon or muscle or something that connects these two, I don't know. And so when this one goes down, that one wants to go down. When this one comes up, that one wants to come up. So when you do this exercise, don't let these fingers help in any way. Make them work independently. Okay? So let's try it again. Leave this one off. Let's try that exercise again. Lift your three, don't roll it over. Lift it, don't roll it. So, do you know what I mean? Don't roll it over. Make sure you lift it. That's going to be part of the exercise because I want them moving. Look, no, and then it doesn't have to stand up because that's not that's not going to be realistic. You're not going to be able to do that when you're playing. It, it can hover. Look, yeah. So see what mine's doing. It can be really close. It just doesn't have to be down, okay? But look, watch. One reason I want that three 
lifting is because I want these to be able to move separately. They need to be able to move separately. If you just roll it, it's not really doing its own work. Okay, so let's try it again and make sure you don't roll the three. Lift it, lift it. Now lift it up. Here, let's try something. Put your pinky on E. Pinky on E, stand it up. Now put, actually put, no, what I mean is stand it up on the string, yeah. Okay, now lift your three and hop it to A. Your third finger, hop it to A. Now lift it, this one, and hop to E. Yeah, so it'll just do this. Lift, lift this up, we don't want those helping right now. You're gonna lift, lift, lift and hop, lift and hop. Okay, and slower. Lift to E, A, E, A, E, A. So we know that this one is now being more independent, okay? And this one's getting stronger because it's staying down. So now let's relax your fingers for a second. This time you're gonna hop your three. Watch when I play this exercise. Watch my fingers. Don't play anything, just watch me. Watch over here, here, take your violin down so you're watching my fingers. I'm hopping it. It's always lifting and hopping, okay? So go ahead and try it again. Oh, lift it. Now lift it again, good. lifting now. Now I'm going to give you one more challenge on this. The only time the pinky lifts is to play this note. Okay, so now watch. I'm going to put them down. The pinky stays. And I lift it for this note. Then I leave it down the whole time until I play this again. Then I leave it down the whole time. And now I can lift both. Let's try it together. It only lifts for the E3. Now leave it down, don't lift it. So what do you have to do with it? If it's gonna hit the A, what does it have to do? It has to, no, you can't lift it. I said you can't lift it unless you're playing the E3, so how do you keep it off that A? Hmm. I'm touching the string. How do you keep it from doing that though? Keep it Keep it on the tip. That's exactly right. So it forces you to stay on the tip. Okay, so you leave it down. And it has to be on the tip. Otherwise you're gonna get that. So it has to be on the tip. All right, let's try it again. Now leave it down. So they're really working independently now. All right. So that one you can see is a big challenge if you're going to get that one done properly, right? So both of those exercises are really easy because the notes and the tunes are super easy but they're hard if you do the challenge of what they're supposed to be 